use our magic bus. And uh, like and subscribe, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and go and hit that notification bell and follow us. And have a great day. Love you. We pretty much covered it all. We'll see you along the journey. Hey guys, so welcome back and today we are cutting a hole Heart a smile in the roof of our bus and we're installing the Max Air Fan. So, so I ended up choosing the Max Air Fan and I went with the big one, the 7500 because it has a remote control thermostat so you can set the um, temperature you want and then it will automatically turn on and pull the hot air from out of the bus or you can make it push cold air into the bus. Um, it is done by remote control and it's supposed to be super silent. This was not something I felt like I could do. So I did call in a friend to do this installation and he is up there grinding as we speak. It's a 14 by 14 hole and I will show you the installed unit and the picture of the box so you can see and then I'll give you my feedback after we get it all set up and using it. Stay tuned. So the moment of truth and the frame fits perfectly as it should. Yay! So now to get the rest of it installed and get it hooked up to some solar and see if it works. Like I said in earlier in the video, I went with the Max Fan Deluxe. It's an all-weather RV ventilator. Um, it's basically the the top of the line as far as what they offer, and it has the remote. Um, that you can use, I guess you, you can do the remote with 7000 and 7500 model. Um, it's a 10 speed electric and okay, so the difference between those two models is just the color. I went with the smoke, um, but it's super, super quiet and like I said it pushes air both ways so that's why I went with that one. And now I'll take it inside the bus and let's see, woo, still stinky in here. There's metal shavings everywhere. It definitely creates a huge, huge, huge mess. Um, but the plastic part right here fits in absolutely perfect. And we are going to be caulking that down, and I think we are good to go there. So that's what the unit looks like that's going to go on the top, and then I'm not sure what sleeve this probably is what mounts down into the bus. So once it's all on, we will check it out. Stay tuned. So I got this completed yesterday. Basically this frame that goes up here was too wide and so it stuck down like literally to there on the bus. So what I did was I cut off all the way around with a just a little Dremel tool and it was like a little sawzall piece on it. It left it a little bit jagged, so then I took um, a sander and I just sanded all those little pieces off. Got that up there, and since I'm trying to screw this by myself, as you can see, I used a little tape right there. And then over here, I got one screw in, and I'm just going to work on getting the other screws in, and then this project is complete. I'm super excited because this video is, or project, is now complete. I had a friend over that just slammed in four bolts super easy, so now we have wiring left to get behind where it should be, and it's time to get on the road. So another project complete, and if you like this video, make sure and give it a big thumbs up. Leave any comments below. Um, I'll make sure and answer them, and we'll give you a shout out on our next video. We're going to start doing live shout outs um, for new followers, so make sure you like and subscribe 
and a comment would be great. Have an awesome week and we'll see you on the road.